Okay, ready, Leo? See if this is cool. The name album is based on a few things. Uh, when I think of an album, I think of uh, you know, a photo album as a collection of moments. You think of a music album as kind of a complete piece. So in that respect, I was looking at you know, a full-length video as opposed to online videos would be kind of singles. Yeah, just savoring these uh, collectible moments of this period of time that we kind of experience together. <laughs> we started the music process probably about three months before the video was all wrapped up. Everything was shot, parts were mostly edited. We would bring the parts edited as we thought they would look, you know, um, sometimes to music already, just to kind of have a structure and some timing. But quite often I'd try and like silence that so that the musicians didn't get too biased of an influence because I didn't want it to be any kind of like a clone or rip off of a track. Missouri came in with a few records that I knew very well, which I felt was a good sign, you know, references to bands like Tortoise and, you know, Firehose, you know, which I knew very well, as well as some other kind of more psychedelic pieces of music that maybe I hadn't known as, as much, but I could kind of understand what that picture, the, the overall scope of the project was going to be. And working with the musicians, we would kind of talk about what the writer's vibe was like, what the footage was like, what we were kind of going for for the feel. Noel, myself, and, and Manzuri were all thinking like, okay, the skating is the focus here, that's obvious. But we want to have original, interesting music to accompany that that sort of helps tell the story of the skater and their part and what they're doing better. And then, what's really fun then is the collaboration part of it. Well, you know, really, we can go longer. We could. You think we should? I think, yeah. Okay. Let's establish it, because kind of make it like almost like a, where it's almost like a jam in a sense. For a while. Yeah. Should we do four of the... We, uh, we tried to keep the theme of the musicians kind of skate related. So people who played on the, in the video were either music, uh, skateboarders themselves, whether they're pro skateboarders like Leo Romero, or people like John Herndon who's from Tortoise, or Mike Watt who's been in so many bands that are synonymous with skate videos. So it was definitely a, a keep it within the family of skateboarding and skateboarding culture it was kind of the theme behind the music. And the whole thing was based out of uh, my friend's studio, Bionic Ear. Uh, it's a guy called Noel Paris runs that. It's out of his home. It's kind of a lo-fi small studio, but it's got everything you need just to have a like, you know, solid recording session and everything you need to have a relaxing vibe because it's in a backyard, it's very tranquil. I just wanted people to feel really low pressure when they came in here and making it that kind of situation I think you get the best out of people in that way. There was a deadline but at the same time we could sit and work on things and, and hash them out and watch the video and be inspired by that and so you know the amount of time that goes into a four minute part, a six minute part. If you don't know what that's all about, then, then you don't realize the weight that's on your shoulders when you're creating that music. You know, we know how much work goes into two, three years of filming for a video part. You want these guys to be proud of everything that they've, you know, it's, it's, gotta, it's gotta work. And we know ex exactly how much the music can make or break a video part. Instead of doing da-na, da-na, maybe it's just less, half of that, quarter of that. seen fantastic footage just get kind of crushed when the song just doesn't line up you know like there's a there's something wonderful when you sort of see the perfect alignment of music to footage it's like a dance on the screen almost you know and um, so it was definitely something we really wanted to kind of uh, 
make sure we didn't blow it. You know, I was really worried that they'd just be like, well, that wasn't what I want. You know, I wanted a famous rock song, you know, something that we can go to. But I feel like skate videos have done that for 20 something years. You know, we've, we've all picked our favorite hits and I see how that works. It's awesome. But I want to do something different creatively. And then also, Etnies is a skater owned, so it just all made sense for it to be kept within skateboarding as much as possible. You know, once they've seen their parts, they were like really happy with how it turned out and they appreciated that we put that much time and effort into it.